Okay, keep in mind this is only Friday. Friday, we're used to one day races in the United States. We're not even gonna race for two more days. It's the Monster Energy Motocross of Nations. The flags are out. I know the clouds are overhead and it's raining a little bit, but that does not dampen the enthusiasm of this crowd one bit. Ah, bisous! I know. Ah, bisous! Oh, oh, you helped me out, you too, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And we did have a chance to talk to the riders earlier, so let's hear from some of them. Oh, the excitement is unreal. I uh, haven't been in Motocross Nations in uh, about two years. Uh, I just feel very confident and ready to kick some butt. I mean, it's uh, it's an awesome feeling. <laughs> it's not like we've got the one, two, and three on our bikes right now, so we got to be the guys that go out there and, and attack it and, and you know try to get that trophy back. So, um, yeah, we're ready. Yeah, I'm I'm like excited as a fan to be here. Um, being at Redbud. MX of Nation, I mean, this, this race in itself is a different animal than any other national. Um, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see what those fans bring, and, and uh, I'm ready to do some, do some damage. You know, to get the call to ride for Motocross the Nations is a uh, such a special, you know, special treat and uh, an honor that not a lot of people get. I, I remember in 1997, I won the 125 Motocross Championship, and I didn't get uh, selected, and I was so bummed. And one of my goals for 1998 was just to be selected for the Motocross the Nations. So when I ha I got that opportunity, I was just ecstatic. <laughs> I think nobody will bang bars with Jeffrey, that's sure, because uh, I think he's the fastest man on the planet. Uh, I'm pretty sure about it, actually. And uh, let's hope we can battle with uh, Eli and, uh, and Barsha and all those guys, you know, it will be good. But with Jeffrey, it's going to be tough because we, we've ride him all year and, um, you know, nev nobody never sees him after uh, the first uh, corner, so, yeah. It's about just, I don't know, just, just focusing on you and trying to get everything out of the picture, but it's so much easier said than done, so just go out there and ride. Yeah, it's, been, it's been six years and uh, we need to be back there. That's our spot. Uh, the, only, the only way for us to come out uh, with our heads up here is winning. And I think we have a really good team. I think the best team to pick um, for these weather conditions. Eli can ride the mud pretty good. Aaron, we know, can ride the mud really well, um, and so can Justin, so. Here at Motocross Nations, it's still a weekday. Racing doesn't start for until tomorrow. It's raining, nobody cares. There's so many people out there. It's red bud. This is American motocross. I mean, Ricky Johnson's here. Where are you Red bud! We can do better. Wait, wait, let's try it again. One, two, three, red bud! Oh, I'm going to America all the way. Yeah, I'm definitely going uh, Team USA. Um, hopefully the track holds out. I know the weather is not the best for a lot of folks, but all, everybody's on Team America did well. That was a mud race. So hopefully they have a great showing here and uh, bring the Chamberlain Trophy home. Red Bull!